Hi, welcome to this demo of two of the items covered in our new Spectrum Protect application blueprint for Spectrum Protect for ERP for SAP HANA best practices guide and setup document. This document covers a lot of information, including, for instance, detailed steps to build a large size data protection solution for the SAP HANA using our Spectrum Protect for ERP and SAP HANA and Spectrum Protect server. The document also covers using Spectrum Scale as a shared file system to connect multiple nodes of an SAP HANA clustered environment. And it shows a guided setup for the backup and recovery of SAP HANA with IBM Spectrum Protect, as well as settings and options that will give you the best performance for this typically sized system. And of course, these can be adjusted to other systems as well. What I'm going to focus on in this demo are two other topics that are covered. The first is going to be an alternate restore of SAP HANA. This would be used, for instance, if you're cloning a backup out to a test environment. And then I'll cover a script that's included with this tech doc that covers how to do monthly backups of an SAP HANA database. So with the alternate restore of SAP HANA, I'm going to be using a system I'll call X3L. And I've already built out that system. And I'm going to be recovering a backup I did of an environment called XXL into that X3L environment. So XXL is our source environment and X3L is our target restore destination. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So here in the SAP cockpit, you can see that we do have four hosts. We will be restoring a copy of our production database backup, which is XXL, into this test environment, which we call X3L. So in order to do a alternate system restore, also known as a system copy or as a clone, we're going to have to make some adjustments to the system configurations. So once the redirected restore is complete, then we will be able to start using the alternate configurations of the new database to do the backups of the redo logs and the backup catalogs. And we won't be using the variables in the profile name from the source HANA system. In this global.ini file, you'll find entries that are created by the Spectrum Protect for ERP setup scripts. Included in this is the SAP system name, which is a placeholder variable for the subsystem name. So in order to restore from a different system, we need to create profiles that are located in that specific folder that can then use different system names. Let's go ahead into that folder. The current subsystem ID is X3L, and this is where we're going to restore to. We're going to be restoring from a system called XXL. The INT XXL is going to be a restore profile, and we can restore older SAP HANA backups to this new system as long as the SAP HANA version is newer. With Spectrum Protect for ERP, we don't have any limitations on restoring back level backups either. We cannot use the password access equals generate to do this restore. We must use a password access equals prompt as the option. And this is so that we can see the backups that were done previously. So usually when you do a system backup, they're going to have different database instance owners. So the user IDs are not going to be the same. And that's why password access generate would only be able to show that specific instant owners backups. OK, remember XXL is our source server. So if we look at the init xxl.util file, you'll see we have a server stanza in there that ends with a dash rest. And the first portion of that server stanza is going to be the same as our normal backup server. What the difference is here is that we use the ADSM node for this server stanza. We do not use the as node. If we switch over to the dsm.sys file, 
you'll see the top portion of this DSM sys file is going to be used for our regular backups. And this uses the password access generate. Whereas the restore server stanza assumes the default of password access equals prompt. So for the restore to the alternate location, we'll be using the second server name stanza with the password access equals prompt. Now we're going to switch over to the X3L admin, who is the instant owner for the new X3L instance that we're going to be restoring the old XXL server to. We're going to do a verification step to make sure we can see the backups on the other system, the XXL system. So we're going to issue a back int executable command. And we're going to be specifying the profile for our source server, which was XXL. And we're going to be doing an inquiry directly as the user ID XXL. And you do need to specify the dash U before that XXL user profile. You'll go ahead and enter the pound null, and then you'll enter the control D. Right here, you'll be able to see that the correct server instance was utilized, that dash rest for our Spectrum Protect server. Now it's going to take a while to process all of the backup entries. So if everything was configured correctly, you will then see a list of all of the backups found from the original XXL server. So we now know we've correctly configured the X3L to do the restore from the XXL. Okay, let's switch back to the cockpit and we're going to go ahead and select the X3L database that we want to restore to. That's our target database. And we'll go into tenant actions and select copy tenant using backup. We're going to choose to copy from the full database backup and then click step two. You'll want to select the data backup from a backup catalog. Choose step three. Using back in it as a backup catalog. Step four, multi-container system type, and then click step five. For the source database, we're going to put XXL for both the SID as well as the database name. And this is because we're using the default tenant. Um, you would put something else in there if it wasn't the default tenant. Go ahead and click step six. Now Hannah will use the backup configuration that we set up when we were doing the queries previously. And it'll use that to restore the backup catalog from there. So you can see we're pulling back the backup catalog. You can go ahead and choose which backup you want to restore from and then click review, click start copy. Here you'll see that we are restoring the system to the X3L target. Okay, and now let's just wait for that restore to finish. Once the redirected restore is complete, Hannah will start using configs of the new database, that X3L database, to do the backups of the redo logs and the backup catalog. And we use the variables in the profile names, so Hannah switches to these new configurations and doesn't use the source database configuration files. And that's why we went through the extra steps to set up the configuration information. Okay, you can see our restore has been completed. We can switch over to the database directory and see the restored X3L database that was brought back from the XXL backups. Next, I'm going to show you the monthly backup script. And the reason that we've included the script is it's to allow for the creation of monthly backups that will not interfere with the automatic expiration of your daily backups. So this script will separate out the monthly backups to a different Spectrum Protect node that will be dedicated to those monthly backups. So if we take a look inside of this script, the one piece that you will have to edit is going to be the monthly profile value. And this must be set in accordance to the monthly profile. You don't need to change the SAP system name that was taken from the environment. 
The tenant variable would need to be adjusted if you wanted to back up a tenant that is not the default tenant database. Likewise, the key store entry is created by the setup script and the backup tag as well as the comments will be pre-assigned. Now it uses the original profile name created during the setup scripts and this script runs a command against the database to override the backup parameters. We then will run a backup. This will be your monthly backup and then we will restore back the original profiles. And so this way, any log backups that might occur while that monthly backup is, is running will still be backed up to their original location and you won't lose those. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at this monthly backup script if you're interested in doing monthly backups. And remember, there's also write-ups in the new tech note. Thank you very much.